New at 6, breaking developments in the deadly Butler High School shooting that took pay, uh, place last month. We've learned the suspect in the case, 16-year-old Jatuan Cuffey, now facing a lesser charge. Cuffey was originally charged with first-degree murder and the death of 16-year-old Bobby McKeithen. But today, the district attorney presented the grand jury with the lesser charge of second-degree murder. Our Richard Devane is live at 6. And Richard, what happens next for the suspect here in this case? Yeah, we can tell you that basically when that grand jury signed off on this, it's a true bill, meaning that he was formally indicted, Cuffey that is, of second degree murder charges. The most important aspect of this is that he may get out of jail a whole lot sooner. Jatan Cuffey will now face a second degree murder charge for the shooting death of classmate Bobby McKeith in early this month at Butler High School. A grand jury formally indicted Cuffey on that second degree murder charge. In a statement from the McKeithen family, they say in part, we are focusing on getting through this first Thanksgiving and the holidays all together without Bobby. Initially, police charged the 16-year-old freshman with first-degree murder, but today NBC Charlotte learned that those charges were downgraded to second degree, which means a number of things for Cuffey. What is the major difference between first and second degree murder? The difference is premeditation. Harold Cogdale has practiced law in Charlotte for more than 20 years. He says one huge advantage of being charged with second degree murder is that Cuffey may be able to get out of jail while his case moves through the court system. There's no guarantee for first degree murder that a person's entitled to a bond. Uh, they are entitled to a bond in North Carolina law for anything other than first degree murder. And that's basically what Cuffey now has a second degree murder charge. Another thing about it is that if he were found guilty of first degree murder in the state of North Carolina, he could be sentenced to life in prison without parole. Of course, when we have his bond hearing, we'll cover that and bring you the details of it. But for now, right outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, Richard Devane, NBC Charlotte. Richard, thank you.